On our Eclipse machine, we have a lot of things that we can adjust. We have uh, lighting, we have motors, uh, and we have exposure. And all of these things are very important to how your final output is gonna look. So what we've done in the 2.2 release is address a request that many of our customers have had, which is more control, but also a more clear view of how you're controlling these details. So what we've done is if you look at the iPad here, is you'll notice something is missing up in the upper corner of Live View, and that is the light controller. Because we've moved the light controller into a completely new part of our user interface, which is here at the bottom, and it's called Control Panel. And what you do is you tap this area, and up comes the Control Panel. You'll see three distinct sections, lights, exposure, and motors. Now, lights is going to be very familiar because it's the same as the light controller that we had before. So we can uh, lock and unlock, we can uh, uh, change our different lights, see it reflected in the live view. So exactly the same interface as we had before, but rearranged a bit. Now, in exposure, what you'll see is we've extended the range. So before, you could only go minus three steps and plus three steps. Now you can go nine steps upwards. And these steps represent what we call thirds of stops. It's a photographic term, but these are nine thirds of a stop. So three full stops of exposure that you can actually go upwards. So that's a massive extension of the range. But the biggest change definitely is in the motor section. We have it all visually clear in this panel. So when you've selected a framing or a clip, you can unlock and then you can just simply change your motors. Now, a yellow color will illustrate what the difference is from what the defaults were and to what you've said. Uh, and you can change uh, things like elevation a bit. You can move the camera up a bit if we like. We can, uh, we can change the tilt, maybe move that down a bit. We can uh, zoom in, maybe tilt it down slightly. So it's very, very easy to see exactly what you're doing. Very fine grain control and you have continuous readouts of what's going on. Now, if you would like to insert a specific value, you can also do that. I can actually even tap on the digit and then I can enter a value. So I can say, instead of two degrees, maybe I want zero degrees and then I just say go and then we'll go to zero degrees. If we dismiss our keyboard, we say we're happy with that, we just save that. And then the next time we come back to this framing, this will be our new default. Now at any point, you can just dismiss this panel just by flicking it down and you can always get it back again just by tapping here. So we're super excited about the 2.2 release and we hope that you are too.